Beach, and I know UNLV is your, I would imagine that, that you'll be known forever for what you did at UNLV. And yet what we did at Long Beach was better. I understood, understood, yeah. but you, and the record in here proves that Long Beach, you only lost 17 games that whole time you were there. We never had any money, neither, none. But you won an NCAA title, you became an international celebrity at UNLV. How did you do it? You know what? Even, even, you want me to talk about UNLV or Fresno? No, uh, UNLV, but just to, you know, to give a little sense of, because yeah, so you UN, did become an international celebrity based on what UNLV you did. UNLV shocked me. I never thought that we could ever be as successful as we were at UNLV. When I went there, I thought we could compete for the WCAC championship, and that's the league they were in. But I, you know, I thought we could do that, but I never thought we could be on a national scale. Mm -hmm. I never thought we'd get the support we got. It was mind-boggling. I mean, it was, it was incredible. You know, I, I figured that we could fill that the convention center and because they had good fans. I knew that, but nothing like what I thought. I mean, right. the whole state, I mean, the, the governor would be in our locker room. The U.S. senators would be in our locker room. All wanted to be seen so they'd get votes. That's I know. <laughs> I know what it was. You know, right, right. You know. But I mean, you know, we had we had a, we had Mike Tyson, George Foreman uh, in our locker room. Uh, we had the, the top people. Mm -hmm. You know, um, we had Bill Cosby. We had all. I mean, every it was just it just grew to the extent that it was mind-boggling.